Beth Zipporah Heller. I'm coming to you from Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, the Holy City. I'm a teacher in Neve Yerushalayim, the world's largest institution of women's Jewish learning. What I want to invite you to do with me is to study Chovo Talavavot, Duties of the Heart. This book was written by Bachya Ibn Pekuda, a famous medieval scholar. His thesis was what gives us most joy is growth. We're going to be walking through all of his gates, which is what he refers to each stage in growth. This could be exciting. It could be an adventure. And we're going to explore together the key to finding ourselves and growing. What's stopping you from being who you really want to be? Did you ever ask yourself that? Now, I don't mean from having what you have. I'm not talking about your boss, your wife, your husband, your kid. I'm talking about inside yourself. Is anything keeping you from being the person who you want to be? Having a deep relationship, what a cliche. People talk about that all the time. What's really the difference between a deep relationship and a shallow relationship? The deepest of all relationships is soul to soul. It's between you and God who's the soul of the world. Everybody has those tough moments. The tough moments could be when you get back lab results and you don't like what they say. The tough moments could be when you're facing down a teenager and you don't want to hear what he's saying back to you. The tough moments could be any one of a million different things. You get a call from your broker and he doesn't have good news for you. Nobody could escape tough decisions in life, but you could be heroic, you could be courageous, you could be real. And all of that depends on your inner climate, not on anything that's happening on the outside. In Chovos Levavos, you could learn what your inner climate could be, and that involves developing your relationship with God. The first thing we're going to do is called the Gate of Unity. We're going to see the connection between everything in the world with everything in the world. We're going to come to understand that the force that defines and holds things together is called God and what that means practically in your life. We're opening another gate. After the gate of unity, there's the gate of examination and analysis. In our language, the language that we use today will be primarily the gate of meditation, which will mean how to not just look, but see. You can go through your whole life without seeing anything. We're going to learn how we could be more alive when we want to serve God, how we could stop doing things by rote, how we could bring our hearts and souls into what we do. We're going to study the gate of trust in God. That means that we're going to have to learn what trusting really is about. Who is worth trusting? What is trust? We're going to talk about why God is trustworthy, and that means even in the face of tragedy, even in the face of difficulty. God lets us redefine ourselves. He lets us fix what we broke. Even in situations where externally no change is possible, we're going to learn how to do it. This process is called shuva, which means return to your higher self. Where do our days go? Sometimes we know where our days go, but most people have no idea of where their years went. We're going to learn how to trace our path, how to have goals that we actually reach, by noticing what we do on a daily basis. This is called, in Hebrew, Cheshbon HaNefesh, accounting for your soul, so that your journey isn't lost through distraction. It's a deep exploration and it's worth doing. Well, we've learned something, and this is just one of many steps we're going to take together in trying to reach a point where when we get up in the morning, we have something to move towards, something to read each day with a certain sort of optimism and a sense of progress. So this progress doesn't come from nothing. It comes from having a direction. It comes from knowing where we're going. It comes from having a sense of each life being significant. Significant enough that God provided each one of us with a specific destiny. These steps are going to be directed and focused through what we're learning. And hopefully as we continue learning Chovos and 